Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. And um, Beauty Big Bang kindly sent me this fiberglass stuffs. Um, now I've never done fiberglass nails in my life. Um, they also sent me some clear UV gel. Um, I did, however, watch a, a a video a little while ago um, on how to do a fiberglass nail, which instantly made me an expert. Not kidding. <laughs> I hate it when like like people watch a few videos on YouTube and they're like, yes, now I'm an expert. It doesn't make you an expert. <laughs> and I will prove that point today because I have watched, all right, to be fair, I've only watched one video. Um, this is my first time ever using fiberglass and I'm not gonna tell you yet what I think of it. You have to wait till the to near the end or you'll probably get the gist as we go through the video. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a lovely oh doesn't don't you just love brand new pots of stuff oh so look oh clear gel fiberglass strips clear gel fiberglass slips fiberglass slips <laughs> can't even talk um there was a I've got I'm going to be using this gel brush that I use for acro gel um I, there was like a massive not a massive lump but there was a lump of gel on the seal at the top and i couldn't waste it so i just took it out so i've prepped my nail um i've dehydrated and primed etc and i'm just going to use madame glam's base coat just to add a base layer to the nail as you do oh look i made a splodge all right so i cleaned myself up and then i thought right i'm gonna do it this way because susie from nail career education puts her hand on a very pretty tube thing with like diamantes on and i am using my madame glam bottle all right it's not as glamorous but i i love madame glam so it's now my tubey thing <laughs> i'm going to cure that for 30 seconds right i'm going to take one of the strips out of the packet my dog's barking at his toy you can chew it you know that's what it's there for <laughs> so you'll notice that one side is loose and the other side is all stuck together. I'm gonna get the gel now as well. He's half chewed his ball. He's even eating the squeaker out of it. Um, I'm gonna use the gel brush to put some of the, I'm only gonna put a thin layer of gel on my nail right at this minute. Oh my God, if you could see him, he's just too cute. Um, so I'm gonna just get off that wiggly tail and then we're gonna go over the nail eventually i will get there i promise um with some of the gel so i'm just gonna add a just a thin layer i don't like this brush for gel it looks like a zigzag line it looks like a ziggy zaggy brush doesn't it where all the bristles have kind of decided to clump together a bit I just look like now I look like I know what I'm doing because sometimes when people put gel on they do that whole backwards and forwards thing you know <laughs> no I still don't have a clue um, I'm gonna take the fiberglass strip and I'm gonna separate the strands and then when I think it's wide enough I will place that at the free edge area of the nail like that now if I had a mini LED torch or something that this would be so handy right now but I do not so I end up trying to use my lamp and I'm, I'm look, honestly I was trying to be so careful so I've cured that onto my nail now now there are some strands at the very top that didn't quite get covered in gel so I'm gonna take some more gel I don't really know if I'm doing this right I did watch one video I can't remember if this is how she done it i can't even remember the name of the lady i know who it, i know who she is but i can't remember the name of her channel um she's a i think she's a, a russian lady she might not be actually i just can't remember brain fog so i'm covering the top strands with some gel just to make sure that it's like barbie's hair <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is the most fiddliest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm gonna cure that in the lamp now. So, oh, there's no loose strands, okay? All the strands are now in the gel cured. So I'm gonna snip off. I don't want it to be particularly long. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a, I'm now a hairdresser. 
I watched a hairdressing video. Actually, I did. I do cut my own hair, to be fair. <laughs> I know I'm such a tight ass. Um, so we're gonna look. We're gonna snip it off. I'm trying. Honestly, my scissors are absolutely rubbish. I did try and do that whole cut foil stuff to see if it would sharpen them up and it did to some extent but it didn't do the best job so so now I, that other bit of strandy bit i can put that back in my packet and i can use that next time because it's still got one end that is all like built together so you're not gonna have any strands go missing i'm now just gonna sort of work on the structure of my nail do i look like i know what i'm doing do i do i because i feel like i kind of do a little bit and then it all goes to pot yes darling this is oh no where's the other tape i gave you sorry so i'm gonna go in with a oh i tried to work it out but i watched greg on young nails the other day and he doesn't do this if he needs more product he will just grab another bead and then carry on so what can i say i'm not a gel tech um what am i doing oh i, I know what i'm doing here i'm trying to make sure all the strands are covered in gel that's what I was trying to do. Sorry, my kids want sellotape because they are trying to modify their Nerf guns. They're trying to stick them all together to make like a mega Nerf gun. I don't know how it's going, but I shall have a look in a minute. So you can you see, so you need to, to get, un well, I thought we need to go underneath as well because yeah, I know it's looking, it's not looking great at the moment, is it? Are any of you guys trained in fiberglass because Although I really enjoyed, honestly, I did actually enjoy doing this. It was quite fun. I, I, it's just too fiddly for me, I think. I think I'd rather just stick a form on and sculpt out a gel nail. So I'm just making sure that the whole nail has got gel on it. Also, I was worried about this, the, the shape. So I'm, I'm even, I'm having to put a bit more on here. So you just wiggle it backwards and forwards. And then make sure you've got enough product down the sides. This is, this is like a nearly an 11 minute video and all I've done is one nail. <laughs> Could you imagine if I'd done a whole set of this? So I kind of, I don't know, that is that is pretty much all I'm going to do, um, and then I'm going to file it. Oh no, I'm going to wipe off the sticky shit, and I have to say that quietly because my kids are at home. There we go. So just wipe off all the inhibition layer, and then I'm going to file. This is why I don't like like people keep saying, "Can you can you do your own nails?" I could, but I can't. I can't get a good and I can't film it very well because I have to have my hands close to me and then I forget that I have to put my hand under the camera because it's the whole point of doing a video so that everyone else can see um I thought I'd pop on some Madame Glam gel polish over the top to finish the nail off this again this was the most awkward thing in my life I don't know how Susie does it oh just so I don't know how people do their own nails on video I'm trying to be ultra careful not to get it on my skin. I could stay at my cuticles. I really want a a Russian. Um, I don't know if they are Russian, but like the 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 dry manicure e-file bits. Um, but I'm I'm I haven't I haven't bought any yet. That's, that's the end of the month thing I think, and um, so that I can sort out my cuticles. I don't like nipping bits off. There we go. <laughs> Second coat. Isn't this the most beautiful colour you've ever seen in your life? There, that bit that I got on the skin just then, I do wipe that off, clean it up before I pop it into the lamp. And then I'm going to go in with some Madame Glam non-wipe top coat. By the way, you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code NATMUG30 and the link to the website will be in the description box below with my discount code as always so there we are so that is my fiberglass nail i'm going to show you all of it 
Um, oh, and I'm going to use Sinful Almond Cuticle Oil because I love almonds. Anything almond, marzipan, you know, I just love it. There we go. Let me know what you think of fiberglass. I, I'm not, I'm not convinced 100%, but it was fun to do. So thank you, Beauty Big Bang. If you do want to buy this from Beauty Big Bang, yeah, the, the underside was a bit messy. Um, I'll leave the link to the fiberglass in the description box below. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love the color though. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.